Welcome to the Robismo interviews. Today we are talking to David Christopher Heiser. He is the head of the International Project Office at the Catholic University of Murcia in Spain and the coordinator of Livera, which is dealing with designing innovative business models for rural areas. Project Livera, what was it main, the main objective of, of it? One main focus is the young generation, the young um, entrepreneurs who are thinking about starting their business because this is something that has to do basically with the survival of every rural e region. And for this, we want to create ecosystems where uh, it is possible to add new factors. For example, like ICT infrastructure, uh, tourism. We have a lot of uh, regions we work with, with touristic and then there are maybe operators missing. So we created this living lab, uh, rural living labs in order to, to create those infrastructure for young people to, to be interested, to have real opportunities for the future. What exactly is a living lab and how can a stakeholder profit from it? Uh, it's a very simple concept, which is creating a new ecosystem for uh, a certain amount of, of, of businesses of, a, of an area, of a, of a region, in order to come together and involve involve the stakeholders in all the process. We deal with real people, with real business, with real problems, bringing them together as, as, a, as a community, as an ecosystem, which benefits basically through cooperation and innovation. The idea, the objective comes in the beginning. And the rest of the process is, we can say that, 100% co-creation between the stakeholders. Nothing of our results has been decided by somebody in ivory tower in a university or by some technological companies who have been able to translate very difficult concepts into a very uh, productive and, and useful language. So talking about tools, um, the Liberal Project developed the RAIN toolkit. Um, what exactly is it? Which kind of tools does it include and, and how the, can the people use them? We wanted to create tools that help the future uh, initiatives to start their own living labs, to start their own ecosystems, in order to guarantee that the rural uh, zones will be continuing. And for this, we have two, two main uh, results. For one, the, the RAIN uh, model that we created which basically is a, is a compendium of our best practice scenarios of our 12 uh, pilot regions that have implemented the living lab uh, concept in their uh, specific rural areas. And on the other hand, we have the RAIN platform, which is a community, an ICT tool for entrepreneurs, which has a lot of content. It, it, it contains a business model analysis. It contains uh, massive open online courses. It contains also contacts with uh, specialists in the area. So you can contact them through the uh, platform in order to get advice. You can create your own community uh, through the forums. And this is something that we will for sure su sustain uh, after the project uh, to give uh, this help to and support to our rural areas. Mm -hmm. Um, when looking at the Livero website and the YouTube channel and everything, so yeah, really interactive project. Do you think it's really the, the way to reach the young people as well? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, we created a lot of, of material specifically giving the, 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 the entrepreneurs a voice because in order to engage somebody who has a very, very busy life, a very, very full schedule, um, you need to give them some kind of platform in order to talk about what is important for them. We didn't want to impose anything uh, to in our piloting zones. We want to listen to them and create something that is really useful for them. Um, as an international project where you had the uh, 12 uh, living labs in 12 different regions around Europe, um, was there one thing in common that um, most of them were missing or where they really needed help? Yeah. Um, one of the issues maybe uh, that was really horizontally um, problematic in rural areas was the digital capacity and the digital infrastructure. You need to have some kind of an ICT infrastructure in order to, to, to move along and to, to make it work. And uh, what we're doing now is we're trying to get this message out, especially to our policymakers, in order to push for uh, the digital infrastructure. Um, our European Commission president actually put this on the agenda as well. We're counting on this. Perfect. So we keep your fingers crossed that the rural areas will be kept alive and be vibrant. Thank you very much for the interview and that your time. 
Thank you so much, Corina, and thank you very much to Robismo. We are very grateful to have you as a, as a sister project. We are sure that uh, we can do our part to help our rural areas in Europe to have a better future. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Good night. Bye bye, guys.